One section. Sir? Two sections. Sir? Three sections. Sir? Four sections. Sir? All right, before I get to the warning order, I'll just give you a quick uh, brief of the ground here. We're going to use the 15000 Farnham Area map for today's operations. We're located here at Fog Passchendaele, grid 564-193, grid 564-193. Gentlemen, warning order, situation, enemy, Westland Insurgent Forces have moved anti-air defense assets into the border region and have begun to use them against NATO and Canadian aircraft. A service to air missile, or SAM, fired from an unidentified location, recently shot down a CH-146 Griffin helicopter. Division Commander's intent. The Division Commander intends to rescue the crew as a main priority. He also wants to prevent certain forces from moving into the crash site and stealing any sensitive information from the down Griffin. Problem mission. Limo on one will conduct VCPs in the southern region of the leadership AOR no later than a 1045 hours, a 1045 hours, in order to prevent insurgents from escaping with Griffin crew members or equipment. I say again, probable mission. Limo on one will conduct VCPs in the southern region of leadership AOR no later than a 10 Four five hours, a one zero four five hours, in order to prevent insurgents from escaping with Griffin crew members or equipment. Over of information. Location will be here at the CP. Time borders a zero eight two zero hours. A zero eight two zero hours. All section commanders must be present. No move before ten hundred hours. I say again. No move before 10 hundred hours. Administrative instructions for two ICs. One section. Sir. Officer Cadet Seneschal. Two section. Sir. Officer Cadet Curry. Three section. Sir. Officer Cadet Galt. Four section. Sir. Officer Cadet Anzio. Password until noon today will be force. I spell Foxtrot Foxtrot. Oscar Oscar changes on Romeo Romeo to Charlie Charlie Echo Echo. Transport not available. Warning orders end. Questions? One section. No, sir. Two section. No question. Three section. No, sir. Four section. No, sir. Gentlemen, remember to be seated here at 0820 hours for orders. Carry on. Runner, I need you to fetch Officer Cadet Senecal. He's going to be my choice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, here's the situation. Griffin helicopters have been shot down in our AO. The probable task will be uh, involving the search and rescue recovery by establishing BCPs. Okay, I'm going to receive my orders at 0820. Stand by for my warning order at approximately 0900. In the meantime, prepare the weapons, redistribute ammo, and be prepared for my warning order. Questions? No question, I see. Yep. One 
One section. Sir. Two section. Okay. Three section. Sir. Four section. Sir. All right, as you know, I'm Captain Greg here, Limon 1 Platoon Commander of Leadership Division. Today, I'll be briefing you off of the 15,000 Farnham area map. First of all, a couple locations. We are located here in Bob Passchendaele, grid 564-193, grid 564-193. Direction north on the map is up. Direction north on the ground is directly behind me. Significant terrain features. To the east, running from south to east, we have the Umasica River. In the west, we have a bunch of swampy areas. In general, the area of operations for today is light to medium density forests. Significant man-made features. Running from south to north, we have Highway 233. Running from uh, east to west, on the southern end, is Highway 104. And the last significant man-made feature in the area is the abandoned range. As for built-up areas, in the southeast, we have the Farnham Garrison, as well, we have the village of Farnham itself. Here are boundaries for today. We, uh, Leadership Division's boundaries are bordered on the west by Highway 233, which is our border with Recruit Division over here in the swampy area. To our north, our boundary is the 23 Northern, where we share a boundary with the UK. On the east is the Yamask River, where we share the boundary with the Belgians. And to the south is Highway 104 with the 1st US Division. Friendly Force Disposition, as I said, we're located we'll be here in Fog Passchendaele. Our sister platoon, Lima 1 2, is located in Fog Oratona. And our higher headquarters, Lima 9, is located in the Farnham Garrison. As well, the probable crash site is located up here in Grid Square 5622. Enemy force disposition. We have no fixed location for the enemy at this time. However, the enemy could be anywhere in the Grid Square. The four crash and the three objectives I'll be using today. Objective Samson, located here. Objective Goliath and Objective Hercules. The routes in our AO. Objective Blue, running from south to north. Objective Violet. Objective green, correction, uh, root green, root orange running from Frog Passchendaele's down to the Farnham Garrison. As well, you have root yellow and root red. Gentlemen, orders, situation, enemy. Westland insurgent forces have moved anti air defense assets into the border region and have begun to use them against NATO and Canadian aircraft. They are trying to hamper NATO air reconnaissance so that ground forces would not have to co a complete intelligence picture of the situation. A service to air missile fired from an unidentified location recently shot down a CH-146 Griffin helicopter in Grid Square 5622. Enemy's probable course of action. According to intelligence gathered, the enemy is trying to create a hostage situation with downed Canadian pilots. They will probably try to take the hostage back into Westland territory via Highway 233 or 104 to interrogate them. Equipment. Westland asserted forces are currently assessed as operating cells of two to three people supported by limited anti-air assets. Insurgent forces are capable of small unit attacks. They are equipped with small arms, including AK-47s, RPG-7s, and SV-98s, as well SA-18 man pads have recently been identified in the area. The CBRN threat is nil. Friendly. The CO intent. The CO intends to cordon off the crash site in order to prevent any enemy intrusion and activities during recovery operations. Division Commander's concept of operations. Intent. No change from the warning order. Scheme maneuver. 
Division commander sees this operation happening in three phases. Phase one, Lima 1-1 and Lima 1-2 will prepare for the recovery operation. Phase two, Lima 1-2 will search the crash site in order to recover passengers and Griffin equipment, while Lima 1-1 will control access to main roads in order to prevent insurgents from moving the crew or the equipment of the downed helicopter. Phase three, extraction of crew members and sensitive material, as well as return of the platoons to the FOBs. Main effort, the commander's main effort is with Lima 1-2 that will be conducting a search and rescue operation. End state, the end state will have been reached when all crew members are found, rescued, and returned to the fog. Mission confirmed. Lima 1 1 will conduct VCPs in the southern region of the leadership AOR no later than a 1045 hours, a 1045 hours, in order to prevent insurgents from escaping with any Griffin crew members or equipment. I say again, mission. Confirmed. Lima 1 1 will conduct VCPs in the southern region of the leadership AOR no later than a 1045 hours, a 1045 hours, in order to prevent insurgents from escaping with any Griffin crew members or equipment. Execution. Concept Ops. Intent. I intend to restrict the access to the main roads by establishing three section sized VCPs in strategic positions with a fourth section in charge of FOB security. My ski maneuver will be conducted in three phases. Phase one will be deployment, phase two will be the conduct of the VCP operations, and phase three will be return to the FOB to prep for, to prep for future operations. Put down your pens, look up here for a second. Phase one. Sections will deploy from FOB Passchendaele's, taking the most direct route to their respective objectives. Sections must be op or VCPs must be operational no later than a 1045 hours. Sections will strengthen their VCPs with equipment that will be placed on site by the engineers. Once established, the VCPs will block access to Highway 233 and Highway. 104. In phase 3, on order or no later than a 1140 hours, the sections will collapse the VCPs, leave the equipment on the side of the road by the objective, and return to the FOB. Pick your pens, let's start again. Main effort. My main effort will be with the detailed control of all vehicles. End state. My end state will be achieved. When all search and rescue operations are complete, the VCPs have been collapsed, and all sections are back in the FOB, ready for future operations. Groupings and tasks. Groupings, no change. Tasks, phase one. One section. Sir. You'll move to objective Hercules. Two section. Sir. You'll move to objective Goliath. Three section. Sir. You'll move to objective Samson. Four sections. Sir. You will secure the fob and maintain a four man QRF to support this operation. Phase two, one section. Sir. You will establish a VCP at Objective Hercules. You will control and search all vehicles. You will send SID reps every 30 minutes or when the situation changes. And you will detain all suspects who have crew members or need equipment from the helicopter until reinforcements arrive. Two section. Sir. You will establish the VCP at objective Goliath. You will control and search all vehicles. You will send SID reps every 30 minutes or when the situation changes. You will detain all suspects who have crew members or any equipment from the helicopter until reinforcements arrive. Three section. Sir. You will establish the VCP at objective Samson. 
You will control and search all vehicles. You will send cigarettes every 30 minutes or when the situation changes. You will detain all suspects who have crew members or any equipment from the helicopter until reinforcements arrive. Four section. Sir. You will maintain FOB security. You will be ready to support other sections in case of contact with insurgents. You will be prepared to evacuate the injured if necessary and to be prepared to escort detainees or PWs to the CP. Phase three, one section. Sir. You will collapse the VCP. You will be ready to escort the detainees or PWs and you will return to the FOB. Two section. Sir. You will collapse the VCP. You will be ready to escort detainees or PWs and you will return to the FOB. Three section. Sir. You will collapse the VCP. You will be ready to escort detainees or PWs and you will return to the FOB. Four section. Sir. Your task is the same as in phase two. Coordinate instructions. Timings. The back reef at the CP no later than 0950 hours, no later than 0950 hours, or before you issue your orders. You'll depart the fog, no later than 1030 hours, no later than 1030 hours. You will establish the VCP, no later than 1045 hours, 1045 hours. You will return to the fog, no later than a 1155 hours. 1155 hours. Itinerary. You must use the most direct route. I will sacrifice security for speed. Objective grids. Objective Hercules. The centered at grid 569187. Grid 569187. Objective Goliath. The centered at grid 562. 184, grid 562, 184. Objective Samson, centered at grid 558, 189. Grid 558, 189. Back brief will be no later than 0950 hours, 0950 hours. It'll include your itinerary and constant of ops. ROE. As per your soldier's card. Service support, ammo, first line, dress, FFO, transport, no transport for phase one. The vehicles remain at the fog for emergency use only. Medical, section first aid kits, medevac request via the CP. PWs, PWs will be detained on the objective and escorted back to the CP during phase three. Equipment, all required equipment will be put in place by engineers at the VCP locations. Resupply, no resupply during missions. Any admin requests via the CP during battle procedure. Command signals, command, platoon chain of command. Myself, platoon commander, followed by platoon two IC, four section commander, one section commander, two section commander, three section commander. Location of commanders. Myself and platoon 2IC will be at the CP throughout all phases. Signals. Frequencies, channel one. Call sign. I will be Lima 11. Platoon 2IC will be Lima 11 Sunray Minor. One section will be Lima 11 Alpha. Two section, Lima 11 Bravo. Three section, Lima 11 Charlie. Four section, Lima 11 Delta. Code words Departing FOB will be Pigeon. Departing FOB, Pigeon. VCP established, Beaver. VCP established, Beaver. Return to, correction, return to FOB, Swordfish. Return to FOB, Swordfish. Passwords Until noon today, the password is Force. I spell Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Oscar, Oscar. Changes on Romeo, Romeo, to Charlie, Charlie, Echo, Echo. From noon today until noon tomorrow, the password will be Pawns. I spell Papa, Papa, Oscar, Oscar. Changes on November, November, to Delta, Delta, Sierra, Sierra.
Light recognition is five red. Orders end. In. 45 seconds, it will be zero eight for zero hours. In 10. In five, four, three, two, one, mark, zero eight, four, zero hours. Review your notes, and I'll take questions. Questions, one section. Uh, yes, sir, uh, what is uh, SA-98? It's a 7.62 millimeter sniper rifle. Thank you, sir. Any further questions? No, sir. Two section. Uh, yes, sir. What kind of equipment are you uh, we looking for? Uh, black box, uh, air camera systems, flight equipment, and uh, electronic equipment. Thank you, sir. Any further questions? No more questions. Three section. Yes, sir. For how many crew men we are looking for? We're looking for three crew members, all males. Thank you, sir. Four section. No question, sir. Okay. Are there any final questions? All right, I have some questions for you. One section. Sir. What do you have to do with the prisoners? I will hold them in location and then bring them back to the fob with us during three street, sir. Good. Two section. Sir. At what time must your BCP be operational? 10 4 to 5, sir. Correct. Three section. Yes, sir. In what grid square is the Griffin crash? It's in the grid 5622, two, sir. Correct. Four section. Sir. What is my main effort? My main effort will be the detailed control of the vehicle, sir. Correct. Gentlemen. It is our air crew up there. We need to secure the area before the enemy has a chance to exploit the situation. If we fail, lives will be lost. Our soldiers' lives. You have your missions, you have your timings. Best of luck. I see, is everybody here? Everybody's here. Okay, excellent. Okay, before I get into the warning order, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, map read. Okay, the map we're using is the farm area. 
So 1 over 5,000 map, north is to the top of the page, and north on the ground is in that direction right there. Some key points to be aware of, the leadership AO is essentially encompassed by Highway 233, Highway 104, the Yamaska River running north-south, and the 23 Northern. Key points of interest is our current location here, Fog Passchendaele, and the location of our sister platoon in Fog Ratona. Ladies and gentlemen, morning order. Situation. Westland insurgent forces have moved any aircraft assets into the border region and have begun to use them against NATO and Canadian aircraft. A surface-to-air missile fired from an unidentified location has shot down a CH-146 Griffin. Team commander's intent is to restrict the main roads by establishing three section vehicle checkpoints in strategic positions. Probable mission. One section will establish a vehicle checkpoint at grid 569187, no later than 1045 hours, in order to prevent enemy forces from taking away the Griffin crew members or equipment. I say again, probable mission. One section will establish a vehicle checkpoint at grid 569187, no later than 1045 hours, in order to prevent enemy forces from taking away the Griffin crew members or equipment. Over of information. Location is here at the section tent. Time 0955. All to attend. Dress is full fighting order. No move before. 1015 hours. Okay, admin instructions to IC. I require you to prepare the PW kit to include the cuffs, the labels, and also the sandbags. I require a model of uh, this location right here on Orange Route in this black track, okay, about uh, two to three hundred meters in both directions. I need you to review search techniques for both vehicle and personnel. Prepare the radios and uh, get fresh batteries on them, do a function check. Also, I need you to assign the teams. Okay, I will be Alpha 1 and you're going to be Echo 1. The remainder of the section divide as you see fit. Warning order ends. Questions to IC? No question, IC.
Okay, so the back you want to show me uh, your objective your groups and go through your concept of operations. Yes, sir. Uh, my objective here is Objective Hercules. Uh, my roots to this objective is uh, from Fog Passchendaele, uh, straight on to uh, Orange Route, heading east, approximately 700 meters to uh, this junction right here, which centers me in Objective. Uh, my concept of ops, my intent is strict control on Orange Route through the use of a BCP by systematically searching all vehicles in order to find the crew members and or helo equipment. My scheme of maneuver is three phases. Phase one is the deployment. Phase two is the establishment and conduct of the vehicle checkpoint. And phase three is the collapse of the vehicle checkpoint and the return to the fog. Sir, my uh, main effort will be concentrated on all vehicles heading away from the crash site, essentially heading south. And my end state will be achieved when uh, all vehicles passing through my uh, area of responsibility have been searched and the crew and or equipment have been recovered. Okay, sounds good. I have a question for you though. What happens if a, uh, a vehicle comes down here and sees your, uh, your checkpoint? What's your action on? Uh, if they see my checkpoint, it depends on what their action is. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have uh, cutoff groups to the north and to the south in order to uh, prevent anyone from turning around and trying to find an alternate route through the area. Okay, sounds good. Very well. Okay, thank you, sir. Do I see? I see. Okay, for the uh, for my orders, I need a diagram, okay, of the uh, formation and the order of march. Basically, I needed about, you know, big enough so everybody could see. I need you to identify uh, the teams: Bravo, Alpha, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Also, the key players: Comms, First Aid, uh, myself, and your position on there. Questions? No question, I see. Excellent. Alpha 2. Ready. Bravo 1. Ready. Bravo 2. Ready. Charlie 1. Ready. Charlie 2. Ready. Delta 1. Ready. Delta 2. Ready. Echo 1. Ready. And Echo 2. Ready. Excellent. Alright, before I begin the orders, I'm just going to introduce some of the aids I'm going to use to pass on my information. First one, same as before as the warning order. See, I won over 5,000 Farnham area map. Another one is a diagram of our formation of March. And the third item is going to be the sand model of our actions on objective. Okay, no change from the warning order as far as the map. There are a couple additional points I want to pass on. Okay, the general terrain itself in our AOR is essentially sparsely wooded. Easy movement through the woods on foot. However, this time of year it tends to be a bit swampy. Key terrain features. Okay, we have the Yamaska River running north to south on our eastern flank. Other uh, man-made features, okay, we have a, a hard ball road, okay, Highway 233 running north to south, which essentially makes one of our leadership division boundaries, and Highway 104, which is another boundary to our south. Okay, those are hard roads. Also in the area, we have numerous uh, dirt roads, okay, key ones being Blue Route, running north to south, violet, green, yellow, and of particular interest to our operation is orange route, which runs south of our fob and curves all the way in a southerly direction. Other man-made features or built-up areas, we have the Farnham Training Center. Okay, this is the current location of Lima 19er headquarters. And farther to the south, east of that, we have the actual village of Farnham. Okay, control measures. OK, 
Okay, we have three objectives here. Objective Samson, Objective Goliath, and particular to our section, Objective Hercules. To the north, this is the crash site in that grid square. Okay, friendly force disposition. Our current location is here in Fob Pashadale, Lima 1-2, Fob Artona. Okay, and leadership headquarters is located in the training center. Enemy force disposition. At this time, there are no confirmed locations. However, expect them to be operating anywhere in our AO. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, orders. Situation, enemy. Westland insurgent forces have moved any aircraft assets into the border region and have begun to use them against NATO and Canadian aircraft. They are trying to hamper NATO air reconnaissance so that ground forces would not have a complete picture of the situation. A surface to air missile fired from an unidentified location has shot down a Griffin helicopter in grid 5622. Enemy most likely course of action is to create a hostage situation with the downed crew. They will likely attempt to take the hostages to Westland territory using Highway 233 or Highway 104 in order to interrogate them. Their equipment currently assessed as operating in two to three man cells supported by limited anti-aircraft assets. They, they are capable of small unit attacks and currently equipped with AK-47s, RPG-7s, SV-98s and SA-18 man pads have also been identified in the area. The CBR, CBRN threat is nil. Situation friendly. Other friendly forces operating in the area is Lima 1-2 from Fab Rotona. They're actually in charge of the search and rescue operation in the crash site. From our platoon, okay, we have two section. Their task is a VCP at Objective Goliath three section. Their task is a VCP at, at the objective Samson and four section is remaining here to do FOB security. The Div commander's intent is to rescue the helicopter crew as the main priority. He also wants to prevent insurgent forces from moving into the crash site and stealing any sens sensitive information from the downed Griffin. The platoon commander's concept of ops his intent is no change from the warning order. The scheme of maneuver is in three phases. Phase one is the deployment of three sections to their respective objectives. Phase two is conduct of VCP operations. Phase three is the return to the FOB and prep for future operations. His main effort is the detailed control of all vehicles. His end state will be achieved when all search and rescue operations are complete, the VCPs have been collapsed and all sections have returned to the FOB. Adds and deaths, nil. Mission confirmed. One section will establish a VCP at Objective Hercules no later than 1045 hours in order to prevent enemy forces escaping with Griffin crew or equipment. I say again, mission confirmed. One section will establish a VCP at Objective Hercules no later than 1045 hours in order to prevent enemy forces escaping with Griffin crew or equipment. Execution, my concept of operations. My intent is the strict control on Orange Route through the use of a VCP by systematically searching all vehicles in order to find the 
crew members or parts of the helicopter. My scheme of maneuver is in three phases. Phase one is the deployment to Objective Hercules. Phase two, establish and operate the VCP. Phase three is collapse the VCP and return to the fob. All right, pens down, eyes up. Okay, from our current location at the FOB, we're gonna take the most direct route along Orange to Objective Hercules. Once there, we're gonna set up security north and south, stop all vehicle traffic, commence with the setup of the VCP. Once it is operational, we're gonna start searching all the vehicles, priority being given to vehicles coming from the north. Once the operation is complete, Okay, whether or not we find what we're looking for, we're on order. We're going to dismantle the entire VCP, commencing phase three, and moving the most direct route back to the fob. All right, pens up, prepare to copy. My main effort will be concentrated on the vehicles heading south in the vehicle searches. My end state will be achieved once all vehicles have been searched and the crew and equipment have been recovered. Groupings of tasks, phase one, Alpha team will be myself and Officer Cadet Gray. Okay, Alpha is Alpha two. Task Alpha one is command and control, third in the order of march, and I'm responsible for the movement to the objective. Alpha 2. I see. You're responsible for communications. You're fourth in the order of march. You're responsible to send code words and right flank security. Bravo team. I see. Okay, grouping. It's Officer Cadet Rose and Officer Cadet Red. Bravo I see. Team. I see. Your task is front security. Bravo 1 left. Bravo 2 right. You're first and second in the order of march. I need you to pay attention to the sides of the roads and try to uh, identify any possible obstacles or booby traps on route. Charlie team, grouping. Officer Cadet Brown, Charlie 1. I see. Officer Cadet White, Charlie 2. Task is left flank security, your fifth and sixth in the order of march. Okay, you will have the first aid kit and you're responsible for uh, applying immediate first aid. Delta team. I see. I see. Grouping Officer Cadet Black, Delta 1, and Officer Cadet Violet, Delta 2. Your tasks is right flank security, your 7th and 8th in the order of march. Echo team. I see. I see. Grouping is Officer Cadet Senegal, you're the 2IC, and Officer Cadet Yellow, your Echo 2. Your task for the 2IC is left flank security. You're ninth in the order of march and you're responsible for patrol discipline. Echo 2. Okay, you are rear security. You're 10th in the order of march and you're to report any suspicious activity to our rear. Phase 2. Alpha team grouping no change. Task for the command and control and communications team. Task for Alpha 1 is confirm the location. Supervise the VCP setup, control of the VCP, and send sit reps every 30 minutes. Alpha 2. I see. Okay, you're responsible for the communications. You're to shadow myself, maintain radio contact with the CP, and send the appropriate code words. Bravo team. I see. I see. Grouping, no change. Task, you are the self security of the VCP. Bravo 1, your task is to set up the barricade of the VCP, report all traffic from the south, stop personnel and vehicles, do a quick inspection and question, and direct them to the search area on my order. Bravo 2, you are the south security, okay, remain in position to support Bravo 1 by fire if he requires it, and be prepared to engage any threats to the south. Charlie team. I see. I see. Grouping, no change. Task, 
You're the North Security of the VCP. Charlie One, your task is to set up the North Barricade. You're to report all traffic coming from the North. Stop, inspect, and question quickly, and on my order, direct the traffic to the search area. Charlie Two, your North Security, remain in position to support Charlie One by fire if necessary, and prepared. be prepared to engage any threats to the North. Delta Team, I see. I see. grouping, no change. Your task is the detention team. Okay, for both of you, your task is identical. Okay, set up the holding area. Be prepared to reinforce either side of the VCP in case of a contact. Okay, you are to direct and control all vehicle passengers in the waiting area during searches. Okay, and also you're to hold and safeguard prisoners if necessary. Echo team. I see. Grouping, no change. Task, you are the search team. Echo one, you're to set up the search area, perform the searches of the vehicles, and report anything suspicious. Echo two, task is to set up the search area, and you're the close security for Echo one during all searches. Phase three. Okay, for phase three, the tasks for the collapse are as for the setup for all, and then the remainder of phase three is the same as phase one. Okay, the following exceptions, alpha two. I see. Okay, you're set to send the appropriate code word once you step off, and delta team. I see. Team. Okay, you're responsible for the close escort of the prisoners, should we have any. Coordinating instructions, timings. Rehearsals, following orders at 1020 hours. Final inspection, 1025. Departure, 1030. Expect to arrive on objective at approximately 1040 hours. The VCP must be operational no later than 1045 hours. Dismantle the VCP no later than 1140 hours. Depart no later than 1145 hours. And we must be back at the FOB no later than 1155 hours. Routes. Right? Routes to the objective is from the FOB. In our current location here, going east on Orange Route, turning south to grid, approximately grid 569187. Total distance 700 meters. The return route is the same, only in reverse. Formations. Okay, ask for the groupings and tasks. Look on the chart here. Our axis of advance is to the in uh, this direction right here. Bravo one and Bravo two, you're going to be on point, both left and right side of the road. Followed by Alpha one and Alpha two on the right. Charlie one, Charlie two on the left. Delta one, Delta two on the right. And Echo one, Echo two, bringing up the rear. Echo two, make sure you're uh, responsible for uh, the rear security. Okay. First aid kit is going to be located in Charlie Team, centrally in the patrol, as well as uh, comms. It's going to be right behind me. Search priorities. Priority one are vehicles approaching from the north. Priority two are vehicles approaching from the south. Priority three are personnel or footborne traffic approaching from the north and priority four is footborne traffic from the south. Action on enemy vehicles once identified either by Charlie or Bravo team okay the standard challenge procedure is going to stop you're automatically going to go into an aggressive stance and attempt to get them into the search area if they fail to comply, make sure you stop them and remainder of uh, Echo 
and Delta team be prepared to conduct the search outside of the VCP. ROE is asked per your soldier's card. Okay, action on objective. Okay, just pay attention to the map model. Right, can everybody see the map model? Yes, 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 yes. All right. North is in this direction on the map model as it is on the ground. Okay, this red yarn right here represents orange root. Okay, the two green uh, lines right there is the black track that runs west from orange root, just immediately north of the VCP. Figures here, we have Charlie one up north. Bravo, correction, we have Entire Charlie team up north, Bravo South, the search team Echo, the detention team Delta, and of course the command and control and comms team right here in the center. Okay, essentially this is how it's going to work. From the fog, we're going to be approaching from the north. Once we get to a suitable location, okay, we're going to do a short halt. I'm going to deploy Bravo to the south and Charlie to the north. North, they're going to stop all traffic. Okay, once the traffic is ceased. That's when Delta and Echo will commence their phase of the operation, okay, which is the construction of the detention center or detention area for uh, Delta team and the search area for Echo team. Once that's well established, okay, Charlie and Bravo, you're going to set up the barricades to the north and to the south. Once that is all complete, then we're going to actually start commencing the vehicle searches. Okay, as the vehicle approaches from the north, or from the south for that matter, doesn't matter, it's going to come down, okay, and Charlie team, or in this case, is going to halt the vehicle. Charlie 1 is going to go out and do a quick question and a survey of that vehicle and assess the, uh, if any hazards are uh, presented to us. Charlie 2, at that point, is covering Charlie 1. You have to be very strict on your coverage. Okay, and that goes for you too as well, bro. Once it's given the all clear, on my word, you're gonna push them through the area and they're gonna go be directed directly into the search area. In the search area, any additional vehicle occupants will automatically be detached to Delta Team. Delta Team, you're gonna take control of them into the detention area, you're gonna separate them. If necessary and the situation warrants, you may be required to do a quick physical search on them. The driver will stay with the vehicle and echo team to assist you in the search of the vehicle. Once everything's good to go, we're gonna get rid of the uh, vehicle through the VCP, okay? And they're just gonna carry on happily on their way. Okay, close up the VCP again and await the next vehicle. All right, prepare to copy. Service support, dress, it's full fighting order. Ammo, it's first line. Water, it's three liters per person. Rations, will carry one IMP on your person. Resupply will be at the FOB. PWs will be detained on site and escorted back to the FOB during phase three. Special equipment, Charlie team. I see. I see. First aid kit, Delta team. I see. PW kit. Transport, it's not available. And CBRN threat is nil. Or address state zero. Command in six, chain of command, it's myself, followed by Echo one, Officer Cadet Seneschal, followed by Delta One, Officer Cadet Black. Location of commanders, myself, during phase one and three, I'll be third in the order of march. During phase two, I'll be center of the VCP. With two IC, we'll be located for phase one and three, ninth in the order of march, and during phase two, we will be in the search area. Signals, frequency, Channel 1 on Motorola. Call signs, 
command post is lima11 and R call sign is lima11 alpha. Passwords till noon today is force spell foxtrot foxtrot Oscar Oscar Romeo Romeo Charlie Charlie Echo Echo. From noon today till noon tomorrow is pawns spell Papa Papa Oscar Oscar November November Delta Delta Sierra Sierra code words pigeon is leaving the fob beaver is VCP is established and swordfish returning to fob time check in one minute it will be one zero one five hours 30 seconds 15 Five, four, three, two, one, mark. One zero, one five hours. All right, have a quick look over your notes. I'll take questions in one minute. All right, questions? Alpha two? No question. Problem one? Yes, I see. What is the size of the VCP? And the VCP is going to be uh, 50 meters uh, from end to end, plus or minus 10. Thanks. I Bravo 2? No questions, I see. Charlie 1? No question, I see. Charlie 2? Yes, I see. What do I do if a vehicle attempts to do a, to turn around? Okay, you're going to attempt to stop them as best you can. If they end up getting away, that's all right. We'll just radio ahead to the other checkpoints and they'll intercept them. Yes, I see. There's no way out. Delta 1? No questions, I see. Delta 2? Uh, yes, I see. Do we have a uh, vehicle available for uh, the evacuation of uh, casualties, I see? Yes, we do. Uh, Medivac is on request through uh, CP Lima 1-1. Okay, we just have to radio in, and if it's uh, if you can't be uh, evac, then an ambulance is available as well. Echo one. No question, I see. Echo two. No question, I see. Okay, I have some questions for you. Alpha two. When do you send the code word Beaver? When the VCP is operational. Excellent. Bravo two. What will you do when you are in position at the objective? I car towards the south on the road and I stop any vehicles coming from that direction. Excellent. Charlie 1. I see. What is my main effort? Uh, your main effort is with the, the search of the vehicle coming from the north. Correct. Delta 2. I see. What is your task in phase 2? Uh, set up the uh, detention area, be ready to support on one side or the other in case of contact and maintain control of the passengers in the search area and the detention of prisoners, I see. Excellent. Echo 1. I see. At what time must the VCP be collapsed? At uh, 11.40. Excellent. Alright troops, we need to isolate and control the area. These are our brothers that went down, and the last thing we want to do is have them fall into enemy hands. Stay alert, and let's help get these guys back home. Okay, one section. Gather in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do the uh, rehearsal right now. Okay, what's gonna happen is uh, our axis of advance is gonna be in this direction. So I just want you to shake out in your order of march. Bravo Alpha, Charlie Delta Echo, in uh, ACAC, Team ACAC. All right, let's go. Okay, keep it a little bit tight. Okay, so you could all hear my voice. Okay. We're advancing in our axis of advance. Okay, once we uh, once we get into the uh, objective, 
Okay, we're gonna start to deploy. Okay, I'm gonna do this short halt. Okay, halt, I'm just gonna quickly confirm the location. All right, and then I'm gonna give Bravo team the execution to deploy forward. Okay, you guys take off 50 meters to the front, stop all traffic, all right? Do that now. Okay, while Bravo's getting into position and stopping traffic, Charlie, right from your position right here, you're gonna deploy and stop traffic. Okay, as you're doing that, the remainder of the patrol is gonna carry on into the center of the uh, VCP. All right, do that now. Okay, Delta Echo, let's go Alpha 2. Just keep walking. All right, once we're in the center of the VCP, okay, I'm just gonna have a quick survey, make sure everything's good to go. Okay, and that's when I'm gonna detach or task Delta and Delta and Echo, you guys are gonna grab your kit and start setting up your uh, respective uh, positions, okay? The detention point, okay, which is gonna be on that side of the road, okay? And you guys start preparing the search area. So obviously we don't have the kit here, so just go stand in the uh, your respective locations. Okay, once that's done, Bravo, Charlie, you guys are gonna start setting up your uh, respective positions as well. So need the uh, dragon's teeth, barrels if we got any, and uh, what other materials we require. Okay, so Bravo 1, uh, Charlie 1, do that now. Okay, Bravo 2 and Charlie 2, you guys are still controlling traffic. Okay, so barrels are now set up, everything's good to go. Okay, and we're gonna commence operation of the uh, VCP itself. The VCP is now operational. Up to what do you do? I send uh, the code. Uh, Excellent. Over. Excellent. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Okay, as a priority. Okay, what's our priority again? Vehicles approaching from the north. All right, Charlie, you have a vehicle approaching from the north. You're gonna go out. Okay, and do the challenge procedure on them. Okay, vehicle approaching. Okay, I'll let everybody know so everybody's in the loop. Okay, quick challenge, okay, bravo. If it's just civilians, just uh, do a quick inspection. All right, be polite, be courteous. Okay, we don't wanna be overly offensive. Okay, she gives me the thumbs up. All right, you're gonna remove the barricade. Okay, the dragon's teeth, get that out of the way. Excellent, pass the vehicle through the obstacle and you're gonna transfer it over to myself. Okay, I'll guide them the rest of the way into the VCP and as they approach, I'll pass them off to the search team. Okay, they're gonna do a a more visual inspection if there's more than one passenger or if there's more than one person in the vehicle okay automatically on the call belt to team over they're going to take control of the any additional passengers okay and move them into the waiting area okay they're going to commence the search okay remember make sure that you guys maintain 90 degree okay so if anything does happen you know you're not endangering your fire team partner okay search is complete Thank you for your cooperation. And now, Echo Team's gonna hand them over to Bravo. Bravo, you guys stay alert, and you're gonna guide them through your obstacle. Move the dragon's teeth out of the way, and take them through the obstacle. Okay, excellent. All right, rehearsal's over. Okay, what we're gonna do is just form up. In your order of march, we're gonna do the inspection. Okay, all right. Bravo two, what's your task during uh, phase two? To cover south and stop all vehicles coming from the south. And Echo, what's your task during uh, phase one and phase three? Phase one, I make sure the, the, the movement. I'm checking the rear of the section. Yeah. Phase three, I'm gonna do the same thing, we'll come back. Okay. All right, make sure you report 
also anything suspicious behind good. us. Yes, I see. All right. Okay. Good turnout. Okay, hey, let's uh, get this job done. Okay, we've got to be on position in uh, 10 minutes. All right, uh, just turn uh, to your uh, right. Okay, and uh, step off. We're going straight for the gate. Okay, just leave a gap there for me. Push up 50 meters, go. Charlie Delta Echo up. Let's go. Charlie right here. Need you to block all traffic from the north. Delta Echo with me. Okay, Echo. Okay, search area right in this location. Delta. Okay. Probably going to need two wire strands to uh, set up the uh, detention area right in this location. All right, let's get start with the setup. Echo Delta, go. Bravo one, Charlie one. Just move that, move that barrel just a little bit to uh, the right. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Echo, when you're done, give a uh, good Bravo ahead. Right now, this is Lima 11 Alpha Beaver. Over Lima 11 Alpha. Over vehicle approaching. Roger. 
Roger. Vehicle. Vehicle approaching from the north.
open that door. And the other one. Okay, move this way. Turn the hood. I see Echo, Echo 2, just transfer him over to Delta. Yes, I see. The area. Just put me over here. And then Echo will get you over here. Just mirror. get in there and go right there in that corner. Lima 11, one, this is Lima 11 one, one, Alpha, radio check over. Lima 11 one, one, Alpha, loud and clear, over. Delta! 
upstairs. Poor Charlie. Charlie, one, just take her into the holding area and, and watch her there. Lima 1-1, this is Lima 1-1 Alpha, over. 
Lima 1-1 one, one Alpha, sit rep. Terra Alpha, we have a detained an uh, enemy vehicle. Give me a cop! We've got uh, two personnel. We have contents of the vehicle. We have uh, some small arms and also a uh, black box. Looks like it's uh, likely from a health crash site. Fair Charlie, or crash and Fair Bravo. We're uh, currently holding in location. We have the uh, two day two containers secured. Fair Charlie Nil, Fair Delta, request Bluebell in our location to recover the vehicle. And we can do a uh, thorough search of the uh, vehicle. Okay. Okay. Alright. One section, we're going to start the collapse now. Okay, remember uh, Charlie 2 and Bravo 2, you guys stay in position and stop any traffic or any interference from the teardown. Let's go, let's make it happen now. Get him up. Uh, have him like uh, standing. The, uh, the road, but... Okay, we're gonna go. Let's get that last piece of wire back up there. Charlie 2, I want you to grab the flight recorder. Okay, you're gonna carry that back. Yes, I see. Charlie 1, you just uh, control uh, access from the north. You just grab the flight recorder. Okay, Delta, I want you to take control of those uh, prisoners. All right, Bravo. Let's go. Take point. We're moving out. Section. Let's move. Just move in front of the tent here. We're gonna do a little AR. Let's try and get into a bullshit. Yeah. Okay, close it up. Okay. okay relax. Uh, very good mission. Okay, good things to improve on. Just take your helmets off. Relax. smooth setup was uh, exactly how we reversed okay and uh, action on the civilian vehicle was very good okay very minimal uh, talking required just a few minor points here and there when we had the uh, hostile show up okay I personally thought that went pretty good there's a few bugs there that I thought we could have worked out one we had them a little bit too close together at times okay and uh, we were what well uh, Okay, what could have uh, improved? Like, what do you guys see? Like, any phase one, two, or three? Anybody? Well, yeah. maybe something I see. Yes. Uh, next time, uh, maybe we should uh, think about uh, putting one of the female uh, members in uh, the searching. Uh, yeah, yeah, excellent point. That was a bit of a problem. 
having to switch uh, Delta and Echo all the time. So search team uh, next time, we'll uh, probably put you in, into whatever team happens to be the search teams or the PW team. Any other points, anything that we thought went well or we could have been improved on? Okay. Nothing? Okay. So going very good mission. Uh, okay. For uh, next time, like I said, we're going to try to separate the prisoners a bit more. Okay. And uh, maybe a little bit faster on the tear down. Okay. All right. Good job. Let's go inside.